Hi, I'm Amy Eisenstein. We're nearly four weeks into this global health and economic crisis, and I find that fundraisers are still asking me the same question over and over. And the question is, is this a good time to be asking donors for money? Is it inconsiderate to ask for money? And my answer throughout the four weeks has been the same. And that is that this is the best time, the only time, right now is the time to be asking your donors for money. Every nonprofit in this country, probably in the world, is facing a crisis right now. Whether or not you're on the front lines of healthcare and providing food, or you're doing some other mission critical mission, um, you need funds probably like never before. And so this is the perfect time to be asking your donors for money. Is it the perfect time for every donor to be giving money? No, probably not. But you won't know until you ask. Um, is it inconsiderate to ask for money? People have asked me over and over. And my response is, it's never inappropriate to ask for help. And what you should be doing right now with your donors, your supporters, is calling them up on the phone. Yes, calling them up on the phone to first and foremost check in on them. Find out how they're doing, how their family's doing, if they still are working, if they're able to work from home. And then hopefully the conversation can segue into what's going on at your organization, what the needs of your clients and programs and services are and what you're doing to help the community and how they can help. It's never inappropriate to ask for help. Now, like I said, does that mean that every donor is gonna be able to help? No, but many can, many are, and in fact, if you haven't yet joined me for my weekly crisis town hall style calls, I hope you will. Every single week, we're hearing more and more examples of donors stepping up in big, new, and creative ways of how they're giving back to support nonprofits at this time. And if you're not asking your donors for money right now, you are missing out on a huge opportunity and chance to build relationships with those donors and enable them to give back and support and do something meaningful with their lives right now. So I recommend you start with a list of your most recent 500 donors. Yeah, you heard me right, 500 donors. Start with your biggest donors, your most loyal donors, your most recent donors, and te pick 10 per day. That's gonna last you almost two months. You're gonna have donors to call every single day to check in on them, find out how they're doing, how their family's doing, again, how they're, if they're working from home, if they still are able to work, how their business is doing, and then talking about the needs of your organization and ways that they can help. For donors who have given under $100, some of your small, smaller donors, your base for support donors, ask them if they can help with $15 a month. Ask them to join your monthly giving program. Slightly larger donors, ask for $20 or $50 a month to help for the rest of the year to help your organization count on stable income and know that you'll be financially secure in the months and years to come. For larger donors, you should be having conversations about ways they can really step up and make a big difference at your organization right now during this crisis. Now, I want you to remember something. People who are have are able to work from home, who have transitioned to working from home, still have more or less the same cash flow as they had before the crisis started. Um, in fact, they may actually even have a little bit more in their bank accounts because they're not doing their usual going out, spending money on restaurants, uh, going to 
the theater or activities, they're not going shopping on a regular basis. And so some people may actually have a little bit more disposable income. And for the vast majority of regular ongoing annual fund type gifts, people are making those gifts out of cash flow, not out of stock market assets. And so what's happening in the stock market, while it may be scary, unless they're making a gift with those assets, it's not gonna affect what they're able to give right now today. So should you be asking? Yes. Is it a good time and appropriate to be asking? Absolutely. Will every donor give right now? No, but I want you to take this away. Do not make assumptions about what your donors will and will not do, what they can and cannot do. The only way to know that is to ask. So get out there and keep asking. And if you haven't joined me yet for my weekly town hall calls, you can sign up at a link right below this video. I hope to see you soon. Thanks.